he preached and taught the word of God and died. And uh, we're so grateful uh, that God has seen fit, my God, and I will pass Genesis to be one to come along in this day and time. Is that right? My God, many people know and have heard of uh, other preachers that have uh, preached the truth of God uh, over the centuries of past, and uh, certainly as pastor was preaching and explained this morning, the light of the gospel is still shining brighter and brighter. Is that right? My God, it will continue to do so until the Lord Jesus returns again. Uh, for those who are watching in again, we want just to remind you that you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. Uh, this program at this very moment, if you're not watching it, uh, pre-recorded is coming to you live from our downstairs auditorium. Our address is 5105 North 5th Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America. This program is on the air for your edification and is keeping the place of repentance open to you. I, uh, I beseech you to take full advantage of it now in your lifetime because we won't always be in this life. Is that right? But God has given us an opportunity and certainly the viewers and the listeners a chance now to give heed to the word of God uh, before it's eternally too late. We're going to present to you now our leader, teacher, guide. He's the messenger of the almighty God, the apostle, Pastor Gino Jennings. <clears throat> Greetings, brothers and sisters. Once again, we bear witness there is no God but one. There is no God with him. There is no God besides him. There is no God greater than him. He is God alone, master of creation, Lord of heaven and earth, and the true sender and teacher of all holy prophets and of all holy apostles. We greet our beloved brothers and sisters, friends, and our enemies. We're glad to bring you the best thing that is on the table. <clears throat> you know, sometimes you can have the table spread, but there's a particular thing that stand out to your taste buds. And I must admit the word of God is the particular thing. There's nothing like it. Some misinterpret it. Some don't understand our purpose. But our purpose is simply tell you what is written in the book of scriptures and denounce the same. Now, I want to comment briefly on the message from this morning. One individual said, Pastor Jennings, don't be quick to judge because the tray of glasses, they are cups. <laughs> well, they say, give me a Bible for having a big cup. The message is not centered around the size of the cup. The message is centered around the quantity. The Bible says one cup. I don't care how big or how small it is, but it better be big enough where it can, you can utilize it for the congregation that's going to take the Lord's Supper. If you got five people, of course, you don't need a large cup. And maybe them, that one little cup will work. So I'm not talking about size. I'm talking about the amount. One cup. So there's no need to just come on back to the Bible and just park there and rest there and stay there. All right. <laughs> uh, remember, God willing, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Ron Skaleski texted me. I didn't know. Uh, I forgot that daylight saving, saving time start Sunday. John, glad to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. Amen. Good. So daylight saving time start Sunday. So the clock goes what? Back? Forward. Spring forward. Fall back. All right. I love it when the daylight is longer. It's already getting longer. You don't need the clocks to, to participate. It's just something that God do all the time. Uh, all right, well, let me update you. 15 was baptized here in headquarters in the name of Jesus Christ. One in Charlotte, one in Rocky Mount, three in Columbia, South Carolina, two in Portland, Oregon, five in Del Mar, and I believe uh, one of them was a mother if I'm not mistaken, in her 90s, Wonderful. baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Seven in Atlanta, Georgia, six in Detroit, five in Tallahassee, Florida, one in Texas, 23 in Monroe, Louisiana. That's a blessing. And uh, today is the day of the first service starting back in Monroe, Louisiana. That's where Evangelist Taj is today. It's the reopening, and today is the first day, and 23 went down in the name of Jesus Christ. Two in Memphis, Tennessee, one in Fredericksburg, two on the island of St. Lucia, one in Canada. I want to greet Pastor Richards and all the brothers and sisters on the island of St. Lucia. We thank God for all of you, Bishop Ferguson, and all the brothers and sisters in the churches there in the Bahama Islands, uh, Brother Minister Gary and uh, Brother Minister Baker, and to all the ministers, and to all the brothers and sisters throughout Jamaica, to all the saints in Trinidad, and Barbados and throughout the South Pacific in Australia and everybody everywhere. This is the greater thing. This year we are celebrating 37 years of pastoring this year and 45 years of preaching. <laughs> I've been preaching 45 years. Sounds strange, don't it? And I'm only 58. I first stepped in the pulpit at 13. And every time I got up, I preached the same thing. I had sense enough to know, no need to go somewhere you, you can't understand it. So I parked my car at Hebrews. Without faith, <laughs> it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh through God must believe that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. 45 years later, now we're able to dive anywhere by God's permission. In the beginning, I was only able to step in water that was lower than ankle deep. And I had sense enough to stay there. And I stayed right there until God began to enhance my understanding, that I may understand the scripture. So I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the brothers and sisters that work along with us in getting this message out. I thank God for Dan DeMann Stasiak. You know, a lot of time when he's announcing, sometimes I don't say nothing, but I sit there and think of our first, when we were practicing for our radio broadcast. It wasn't even on no television, but we were practicing and <laughs> on Briar Road. And I remember when uh, Dan was up going through the uh, announcements and he was yelling at the people. I guess he felt as though the people out there, I gotta, I gotta make sure you hear me. But uh, our first uh, radio station was WTMR. It was our first hour radio broadcast. And then we had a 30 minute uh, radio spot, WWCR out of Tennessee, shortwave. And we prayed and asked God to give us 10 stations before that year go out. And he gave us 11 stations before that year went out and an hour on all of them. So uh, it's a blessing. Uh, I, I think we've been over radio over 30 years. I've been broadcasting on television uh, maybe over 25 years. Uh, but it, it, it has been nothing but true success. I mean, true success. And uh, the way the Lord blessed us to get over the telecasts, it started off through Brother Evans. Brother Evans was the one that came to me, and when he was younger, uh, he came up during the time of Bishop Johnson, and when he was younger, he thought he could outrun what Bishop Johnson was preaching. And uh, <laughs> he heard what Johnson was preaching, and he said that he was preaching was right, but it's just too hard. Brother Evans said when he was young, he said, well, look, I'm just going to go to hell. He didn't, he, he didn't know. He was talking foolishly. But you know, the gospel was tight. Yeah. And then as time went on, he thought he got away, and wouldn't you know it, years later, he stepped into Frankfurt Avenue, and this message came back again. He said he threw his hands over his face and said, my God, I'm back again? It's like going around a corner, and it's a long block, 
and when you turn around, you're right back at square one. Well, it was nothing but an act of mercy that God kept him living. <laughs> kept him living. So, I remember he came to me one day, he said, listen, what you're preaching, nobody's preaching on television. Well, I knew that was true. Nobody. There was no holiness programs on television. So, he was the one that introduced us to Skaleski, the ex-Catholic. <laughs> and our first television station here in Philadelphia was PAX, PAX TV. And oh, we were so happy. We was on for an hour. And then before you know it, and not only that, he was financially carrying the program out of his own pocket. And uh, he'd done this for a long length of time. I didn't ask him to do it. He volunteered to do it. And he carried it and asked, didn't ask for nothing in return. He said, what you're preaching, it must be seen on television. And uh, so God used him as the prefix and to getting this thing out there on television. And now, I think we have over maybe 40-something television stations now. And even in the midst of a pandemic, <coughs> our broadcast bill is over $700,000 a year. <laughs> Sneeze, brother. <laughs> our broadcast bill is over. $700,000 a year. And even in the midst of the pandemic, we haven't missed the job. In fact, in the midst of the pandemic, in the midst of the pandemic, God has blessed more stations to be added. You know, that's, 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 that's opposite. Amen. So we give God thanks. I thank God for Skaleski and uh, help hanging in there. And uh, Brother John, I had a chance to meet some good brothers that worked along with him through the years. Uh, Brother John, Matt, I miss Matt. So Matt, if you watch him, Matt is that. Come on back. <laughs> I would love to see you. Amen. So, we are grateful for the doing of God. And we're not over the air for self-honor or for self-glorification. We are on the air to uplift God. As Dan the man often tell you, this is about God. And it has been about God from day one. So let us remember this weekend coming, uh, it is our African webcast to the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ and to the thousands and many thousands of Truth of God viewers. We'll be webcasting live Friday morning, 8 o'clock here. It may start a little bit after 8, so that gives them the time because we got to get all the kinks out. You know, so if you get at your screen, just be on standby. Don't be complaining because there may be some kinks and whatnot. In case we don't start 8 o'clock sharp, just, just be on standby. Don't call, don't comment, what's happened? Just wait, give us some time to get the cobwebs and kinks out, amen? Because the way we have it set up, our viewers, God willing, will be able to see those in the different parts of Africa. Not just seeing me preach, but we want the viewers to see the different ones in the different African countries as well. So. Uh, this is what we're working on. Friday at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. You think you'll be here? Oh, yes. Will you be here? Yes, sir. Well, oh, praise his great name. And uh, Saturday, 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes, sir. Sunday, 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes, sir. Uh, so when I come Sunday, and after we webcast Sunday, uh, besides going back home, I go upstairs and rest a little bit and change up and Get ready to come back down for the one o'clock webcast here. And uh, I don't know whether we're doing two webcasts on Sunday or four web, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm speaking to Africa more than one time 
or not, I have to go back and check because I, I totally forgot if I am. But nevertheless, regardless of how many times it is, then uh, we'll do what Paul said, more over, brother. Yeah. All right, let's put on our scuba gear yes, and dive into the office of the deacon. I want to help my deacons that are watching. <clears throat> are you a deacon tonight, this morning, this afternoon, that are watching and listening? And if you are, what kind? How did you become a deacon? Were you catechized, brought before a board of bishops or elders? Did you have to take a written exam and then if you passed it, you become good old brother deacon? Were you told that in the book of Acts of the Apostles that the seven that was ordained, they were the first seven deacons in the church? If you was told that, I understand, because I was taught the same thing. Right. Yeah, I was taught the same lie. All right, so first let us uh, rid ourselves of the multiple myths, the error, the wrong teaching that's attached to the office of the deacon. Amen. Now, for years, churches of so many denominations have taught that you got to have seven deacons in the church because, as they said, seven mean complete. Now let us understand the Bible have never said how many deacons no. No. is in the church. No. And the Bible at no time said the seven that was ordained by the apostles were deacons. That's right. I'm going to give you Bible what they were. Mm -hmm. And I want you to take, I want to take my time and strike this out with Bible. All right, Deke, give, um, Deke I want to give you a chance to move around. Hey Amen. Tell your, tell your girlfriend, leave you alone now. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> Deke, put your cigarette out. Ah, 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 ah. That's right. You shouldn't be smoking and watching this too. Kick the habit. Join the unhooked generation. <laughs> Glory to God. Deke, I want you to put your, your pot down. Put that down too. Amen. Yes, Deke, Deke. Raise your head up off your, your coffee table and stop snorking while I'm preaching. Lord. I want you to do that. Deep, listen, stop FaceTiming the pastor's wife. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 So, amen. <laughs> Deep, uh, get your hands out of that man's back pocket. Take your hands out of my pocket. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. What is a deacon? Yeah. How great is this position scripturally? Yes. And how is it this office have been watered down to be nothing more than men who got the title and they are just water boys. That's right. They bring bishop glasses of water, or they are red caps. That's right. They are the preacher's luggage boys. Hmm. That's right. They are nothing but lawn cutters and hedge trimmers. Hmm. They take care of the church grounds. Ain't nothing wrong with taking care of the church grounds, but did you get ordained? To be a landscaper? That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. Others of you, well, you help the bishop with his cape. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You help dress Batman. <laughs> Others of you, you got ordained a deacon and you done nothing but chauffeur bishop around. Yeah. You drive for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you, you're a deacon. Hmm. Others of you just collect the offering. Some of you have been ordained a deacon. You are the head church custodian. That's true. You've been cleaning for 30 years. Others of you work in a financial office. 
you handle the church money. How did the office of the deacon end up so cheap? Were you ever taught what is a deacon? Was the office ever explained to you? Did you know what you were getting into before Bishop ordained you? These are legitimate questions that one, because how many men here came from other churches, but you were deacons? Raise your hand. Oh, quite a bit of them. All right. And were you taught what a deacon was? <laughs> any, any hands I miss? Any brothers over here? No. Deacon Parker? No. <laughs> deacon Bobby? Deacon Moretti? <laughs> Amen. The office, which is a great office, great office. powerful office, yes, it it's an office of authority. Right. It's an office that consists of wisdom, yeah. knowledge, understanding, and divine scriptural skill. That's right. The bishops have dwindled it down to absolutely nothing. It's an extraordinary office. Amen. And the criteria to fulfill it is very broad. That's right. Very deep. Now let us start by debunking the myths about the seven brothers in the book of Acts of the Apostles that was ordained, 99.9 .9 of all religions that hide under the title of Christianity say that in the book of Acts, chapter and verse now. Acts chapter 6 was started, verse 1. They say those were the first seven deacons. That's not the truth, viewers. What is that? Error. 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 That's not the truth. All right, I want you to follow me in the Bible and get this. I want to educate you. Go to school. If your husband or brother uh, or, 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 or uncle, whoever, is a deacon, they need to hear this. That's right. They need to hear this. That's right. All right, Williams, come on, Elder Williams. Let's get busy. Acts chapter 6, we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. And in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. Yes. Because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Uh -huh. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them. The twelve, the apostles, called the multitude of the followers to them. And said, it is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Don't bother us with this. Yeah. There's no reason for us to leave the word of God. In other words, there's no reason for us to stop preaching. That's right. To handle your complaint. That's right. Therefore. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of... Wait a minute. Wherefore, brethren, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report. Wait a minute. Right then, they were particular right. about who's going to be chosen to take part of that ministry. That's right. The first thing they want. That's right. You better be honest. Honest report. We don't want no liars handling the word of God. That's right. That's right. Eh? That's right. Honest, that honest. means they're willing to admit when they're wrong. Yeah. They're willing to acknowledge their shortcomings. That's right. Honest. Honest report. Honest enough, when they reprimand it, they can say, yes, 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 Bishop or Elder, I, Pastor, I'm guilty. That's right. You can respect the honest man. That's right. All right. Look ye out among you seven men of honest report. They didn't say look ye out among you seven deacons. Seven men. I guess one seven men. Of honest report. Who's, who got an honest report. And that honest report is among the people. That's right. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report. What? Full of the Holy Ghost. Wait a minute. Not tarrying. Full of the Holy Ghost. I don't want no one still waiting. Full, Full of the of Holy Ghost. They got the Holy Ghost from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Yes. Full of the Holy Ghost. That what? And wisdom. I don't want dumb men. No. That's right. Hmm? That's right. 
Not dumb, not dumb men. That's right. Honest. Honest. Holy. Wise. That's right. All right. Full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom whom we may appoint over this business. Yes. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer uh -huh. and to the ministry of the word. All right. And the saying pleased the whole multitude. The saying pleased everybody. And they chose Stephen a man I want you, faith. viewers, here, here now. I want you to listen closely and pay attention to the names of them that is in this scripture. Give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 6, we're at verse 5. Yes. And the saying pleased the whole multitude. All right. And they chose <clears throat> Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost. All right, they chose Stephen, or as some pronounce, Stephen. Stephen mm -hmm. A man full of belief in God, and uh, he had the Holy Ghost. And Philip. Philip. I and, want you to remember Stephen. I want you to remember Philip. Philip. All right. And Prochorus. And, and Nicanor. And Timon. And Parmenius and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. Yes. And they set before the apostles. They brought them before the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid their hands on the them. The apostles laid hands on them. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. Now, the word of God increased because after the laying on hands of the apostles, mm -hmm. these brothers went out ministering. That's right. That's right. Now, the Bible had no time, viewers, here, here, here. At no time did the word of God declare these seven brothers have us ordained deacons. No. The Catholics declared it. The Protestants declared it. Mm -hmm. The Lutherans declared it. The Episcopalians declared it. Amen. The Methodists, the Baptists, yeah. the Pentecostal, yeah. the Apostolics, they ordain men, and they go to this scripture. Well, Pastor Jennings, if the Bible didn't say they were deacons, where were they? Don't worry. Be happy. That's right. That's right. Nowhere, Nowhere did the Bible declare these seven to be deacons. That's adding That's right. to the word of God. That's right. But remember, it is written that mightily grew. And the mightily, word of God increased. The word of God increased. And the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. That means more souls came in the church. That's right. As a result of ordaining these men. That's right. The word of God increased. 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 We, we, that more was able to carry the message being taught to them That's right. by the apostles. That's right. <clears throat> now... I want you to focus on Philip. Philip. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you what Philip was. That's right. And this will let us know what they were ordained. Acts chapter 21, we're at verse 8. Follow me, follow me, mm -hmm. follow me in your Bible. Get your Bible now. Hey, deep, hey, deep, come on now. That's right. Get your Bible. That's right. All right. Acts chapter 21 and we're at verse 8. Yeah. And the next day we that were of Paul's company departed uh -huh. and came unto Caesarea. And we entered into the house of Philip. Now I want you to get this. Mm -hmm. We entered into the house of Philip. And we entered into the house of Philip the Evangelist. Philip the Evangelist. Which was one of the seven. Which was one of the seven. Of the seven, and a he was him. one of the seven that was ordained. That's right. And what did the Bible said Philip was? Philip the evangelist. Amen. Which was one of the seven? Philip the what? Philip the evangelist. All right. That's why the word of God increased. Increased. Because they all went out spreading. That's right. The gospel of God. That's right. Philip was one of the seven. And we entered into the house of Philip the Evangelist. Who was he? Which was one of the seven. And what was he? The Philip the Evangelist. And who was he? Which was one of the seven. What was he? Philip the Evangelist. Who was he? Which was one of the seven. That's right. They were evangelists. Amen. That the box. The hundreds of years, hundreds of, years. of lives Amen. that trickle down from Europe. That's right. That's right. That's right. 
Oh, if they got this is what I've been telling you. The Catholics has influenced religion so much and tell the European version of so-called truth and is not truth, but the European version of truth. Right. Is in the churches and the, and the preachers think it's Bible and it's not. That's right. That's right. Everybody that been taught that the seven and the sixth chapter of Acts, Acts. were the first deacons right. of the church mm -hmm. that lie must be thrown out the church. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Throw it out. That's right. Yeah. I used to believe that. Yeah. And when God opened my understanding, I had to come back and repeat again. Yeah. So I don't mind getting right. That's right. Do you know why? That's right. Me and hell don't have good relations. You know, me and hell, plainly putting it, we're not cool. Not, that's, right. that's right. Me and hell don't get along. No. Amen. No. I'm not a friend to hell, and hell ain't a friend to me. No, me neither, Pastor. I want hell to stay away from me. That's right. I mean, if it's going to be around, go that way. <laughs> Williams is that way. <laughs> that all right, Williams? No, it's not all right. Glory to God. <laughs> now, I want you to hear me. Amen. When you're too big of a bishop, too popular of an elder, yeah. too popular, and the people have put you too high. That's right. Until now, you're too proud to make a correction. Amen. Your arrogance, get me now, will be your downfall. That's right. Because, viewers, you can't deny the fact every so called Christian denomination believes that the sixth chapter of Acts yep. are the first. Seven deacons mm -hmm. of the church. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men. And it's, it's strange. It doesn't matter what so called Christian denomination they are, mm -hmm. all of them believe these are the first deacons first. of the church. That's right. That's true. That's right. All of them believe this. Yeah. And the Bible have never said that. No. No. Let's come back to Bible. That's right. Let's come back to the Bible. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of uh, honest report. How many men? Seven men. Now let's go back and see what Philip was. Acts chapter 21 and verse 8. And we entered into the house of Philip. We came into Philip's house. Into the house of Philip the evangelist. And who was he? Which was one of the seven. And what did the sixth chapter of Acts say? Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report. And go back to Acts again. And we entered into the house of Philip the evangelist. What was Philip? Which was one Philip the evangelist. What was Philip? Philip the Evangelist. What was Philip? Philip the Evangelist. And who was he? Which was one of the seven. One of the seven. So when the apostles ordained them. Amen. They went out That's declaring right. this message. And the word of God increased. And the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. All right. Amen. That straightens out that myth. That's right. That's right. So there's nowhere in the Bible that gives a number That's it. That's of it. how many deacons was in the church. That's I don't know. No. In the book of Philippians chapter 1. Says what? And at verse 1. Yes. Paul and Timothy is the servants of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. To all the saints in Christ Jesus which are at Philippi. Yes. With the bishops. With the bishops. And deacons. And deacons. That's it. That's right. That's it. No number. No number. No. Amen. Hear, hear viewers, hear viewers, hear viewers. Amen. So if any church bragging and say, we got seven deacons like the apostles, <laughs> you got something the apostles didn't have. That's right. That's right. 
We don't know how many deacons they had. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. Philippians chapter 1, we're at verse 1. Says what? Paul and Timothy is the servants of Paul Jesus Christ. Paul and Timothy, the servants of Jesus Christ. To all the saints in to Christ Jesus which are at Philippi. all the saints Amen. of Christ Jesus that is in Philippi. With the bishops. With the bishops. And deacons. And deacons. Grace be unto you and peace. Grace be unto you. Amen. And peace. How many? We don't know. How many? That's right. Don't know. We don't know. It could have been a thousand. We don't know. That's right. That's right. We don't know. It could have been ten. We don't know. That's right. It could have been five or seven hundred. We don't know. Amen. So we're gonna leave it as plural deacon. Deacons. Yes. And then knock off. That's right. All right, Deak. Yeah. I want you to follow me, Mr. Deacon and Bishop, who ordained you. Amen. Your qualifications, get me. Yeah. It's in the book of Timothy. First Timothy chapter 3 and at verse 8. I want every deacon, every bishop, every churchgoer to follow me tonight as we strike this out with Bible. That's right. All right, listen at this now. First Timothy chapter 3 and we're at verse 8. Yes. Likewise must the deacons be grave. Likewise. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you get the deacon. Yes. Go up to verse 1. Verse 1. Because when it says likewise, obviously <laughs> something was already being preached. That's right. And by the time Paul got to the deacon, he saw that the deacons yes. had to measure up to what he was preaching. That's right. That's why when he said likewise. Likewise. In other words, I'm not finished with the message. That's right. I'm just moving to another office. That's right. That the brothers got to fulfill. Amen. And that office must be in like manner. That's it. Likewise That's mean, just like the office I just got finished explaining to you. That's it. This next office have to be likewise. Likewise. That's right. Now do you get me? Wonderful. Oh, I want to take my time and put this message on cruise control. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. In 1 Timothy chapter 3, we'll start at verse 1. First, we're going to work on the office mm. and the qualifications mm. of a bishop. My Lord. Then we'll pick up mm. likewise. Likewise. All right, get me now. 1 Timothy chapter 3, we're at verse 1. This, yes. This is a true saying. Everything else is a lie. If a man desires the office of a bishop. Everything else is a lie. This is a true saying. The moment saying. says this is a true saying, everything else everything. is a lie. That's right. That what? If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. So if a woman is a bishop, it's a lie. That's right. Because this, the Bible says. This is a true saying. And what is the true saying? If a man desire the office of a bishop. He desireth a good work. The moment a woman get ordained a bishop, yeah. that's not a true saying. That's a lie. That's right. Because the Bible says. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. You see how the language of the Bible harmonizes? Oh, yes. You see, I love the detail of things because people just read, and a lot of times the preachers just read behind the reader, that's and they true. don't explain nothing. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's I want right. to explain it. Break it down. Strip it bare. Amen. So you don't take off running. Ain't no need to go get in the spirit now. No, just wait. <laughs> just wait. Just wait now. That's right. Because the word of God, this is the true saying right this here. This is a true saying. Hey, all you women bishops out there, you're liars. Amen. The bishop that ordained you is a liar. Yeah. I want you to hear this, church of God in Christ. Amen. I want you to hear this, church of God in prophecy. Right. I want you to hear this, Church of the Living God. That's I right. want you to hear this, many of you apostolics. Mm -hmm. I want you to get this, many of you so called Pentecostals mm -hmm. and evangelical frauds. This is a true saying. This! This is a true saying. You know, I don't believe nothing. No, you don't. But what's written here? That's right. I don't believe nothing. That's right. Glory to God pointing to the church, but what's written here? That's right. Because it's written whatsoever things were written aforetime. Yeah. Thank God it's written for our learning. And Jesus died and come back. And when he came to his apostles, then opened he their understanding. That's right. Amen. That they might understand Amen. the scriptures. So the apostles had the understanding of Jesus. That's right. Right. Amen. Right. So good. So, good. so right. Yeah. 
Tell Paul didn't walk with him in the flesh, but he walked with him in the spirit. That's right. That's right. And the word of God says. This is a true saying. All right, so you that are watching. Anything else now? Amen. Anything. This is the true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a junior bishop. If, the, if a man desire the office of a wait, bishop. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. Junior bishop. Uh, the office of a bishop. What kind of saying is this? This is a true saying. You a junior bishop? You are? Amen. <laughs> You's a liar. That's a lie. That's right. That's not a true saying. That's right. That's, that's the saying of your organization. Amen. That's man-made, junior Amen. bishop. Amen. Hey, junior bishop, your office is just as real as a $3 bill. <laughs> that's right. And you got Obama face on the money. <laughs> Amen. Everybody know that ain't happening. <laughs> that's right. Obama faces on the front, and Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and Porky Pig is on the back. My Lord. Amen. Amen. That's counterfeit. That's counterfeit. Oh, I'm going to make it hard for you. Oh, yeah. Eh? Oh, yeah. Come on, son. This is a true saying. This. Amen. You see, it's so much in one statement here. Yes, it is. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop. All right. Here you ordain someone. Who says they don't know what they are, a man or a woman? Mm. My Lord. But the word of God is precise. This is a true saying. If a man. Not if a queer. If a man. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Not an LGBTQRST, UVW. No, 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 no. If a man. If a queer. If a man. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. That's right. This is a true saying. This is true. Amen. Glory to God. You know, I love to see the ingredients of the goodness. Wonderful. If a man desire the office of a bishop, what is it? He desires a good work. Now, the office of a bishop is a good work. It's a good work. The bishop is an elder. That's right. I want to say, well, I was an elder first, then I got ordained a bishop later. You've been took. That's right. You've been bamboozled. Bamboozled. You've been had. That's right. That's just like I give you $5, mm -hmm. and then uh, later on I give you, I take my $5 back, mm -hmm. and then I give you five ones. <laughs> That's right. And you thought you got more money. That's right. No, we still at five. Still at five. I want to show you in the Bible mm -hmm. that the office of a bishop mm -hmm. is the same That's right. as an elder. That's right. And then I'm going to show you how you get that office. In the book of Titus chapter 1, and we'll start at verse 5. Follow me. For this cause left I the entreat. Paul was an apostle mm -hmm. made by hands of heaven. For this cause left I thee in Crete that thou should have set in order the things that are wanted. That thou should set in order, Paul teaching Titus. Right. You put things in order that the people want. And ordain elders in every city as ordain I. Ordain what? Ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. Amen. What? And ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. Yes. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife having faithful children. Not accused of right or unruly. At verse 7, for a bishop must be blameless. Wait a minute. Amen. But what did he say, go ordain? And ordain elders in every city, as I had appointed thee. But what did he call the office? For a bishop must be blameless. Somebody said when they said ordain elders in every city, Paul was instructing him to just ordain old men, you fool. That's a fool. That's a fool. Paul wasn't being, being given out instructions just to go around ordain senior citizens. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. Even the Apostle Paul, the Bible said there was a young man uh, uh, when they were stoning Stephen and they laid the raiment at the feet of a young man. That's right. By the name of Saul. Mm -hmm. Amen. So here, he was told to ordain elders. That's right. But then he began to itemize the qualification of those elders, and what did he call them? For a bishop must be blameless. Wonderful. 
We'll get more of that later. Let's go back, back. to the book of Timothy. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and right verse 2. So when you're a bishop, you're an elder. That's right. Amen. I don't know if you're an elder, and here in the next convention come around, the bishop say he's giving you a promotion, mm -hmm. and you went from elder to bishop. <laughs> no, I gave you $5, took it back, and now I gave you five ones. That's it. We still have five. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. I know you're disappointed now <laughs> because you thought you was getting something. Yeah. A bishop is an elder, and the elder is a bishop. That's right. And a bishop must be appointed by the apostle. I'll show you that. Mm -hmm. But I want to get the deacons. All right. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. Listen. This is a true saying. If a man desires the office of a bishop, yes. he desires a good work. Uh -huh. A bishop then must be blameless. Uh, he must be blameless. The husband of one wife. Oh, so you that got more than one wife, get out your pulpit. That's right. You say you're a bishop and you done divorced your first wife and said the Lord gave you your second. You trade your second one in. Now you said the anointing came over you three o'clock one Tuesday morning and God <laughs> showed you your third. And now you're about to trade your third one in because the spirit of the devil came out of your bathroom and came into your heart uh, on Friday evening about 4.06. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Amen. The word of God says. A bishop then must be blamed. That don't mean you got to be married to be a preacher. No. Because Paul wasn't married. That's right. But if you are married, how many wives? A husband of one wife. This is a true saying. You got it. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, bishop. You got more than one wife? Amen. You do? Hmm. You say he, then get out the pulpit. That's right. That's right. Get out the pulpit now. That's right. Any bishop that's leading a congregation or pastoring and you are in a state of divorce yeah. with a second companion, Amen. you're not a bishop. No. You're not a preacher. No. Yeah. A bishop then must be blameless. The, the word husband. of God talking. That's right. The must be blameless. And if you got a second wife, you ain't blameless. You're blamed. That's right. That's right. You got a third wife, your first wife still living? Yeah. You're not blameless. You're blamed. That's right. And, and you, Bishop and, and you pastoring a church? Mm. Amen. You can't say you have an unadulterated gospel and you living in adultery with a second, third, fourth, fifth wife. That's right. Bishop. That's right. You're not blameless. No. You're blamed. I don't care if you call yourself apostolic, Pentecostal, non-denominational. I don't care if Gabriel came. That's right. And gave you, uh, and you borrowed one of his robes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And now the robe is so powerful, you never drive to church. <laughs> you glide. My Lord. Amen. Amen. The moment you step out your bed, you glide all the way to the pulpit. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. On your way to the pulpit, this still is written. A bishop then must be blameless. You still got to be blameless. A husband of one wife. A husband if of you marry, you only allow one wife. One wife. Can't get another until the first one die. That's right. Can't get another until the first one die. That's right. And you can't kill her. <laughs> no. Amen. 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 All right, son. A bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife. What else? Vigilant. Got to be vigilant, always on the job. Amen. Uh -huh. Sober. Stable-minded. That's right. Mm -hmm. Of good behavior. You got to behave. Given the hospital. Yeah. You got to behave. Good behavior. You're not a pimp at the job. <laughs> That's right. Good behavior. You got to be good behavior. Good behavior. And that means your behavior fall in line with the scriptures. That's right. All right. Given the hospitality. You're very hospitable. Mm -hmm. Know how to treat people. Know how to deal with people. That's right. Uh -huh. Act to teach. Dumb. Act to teach. No, just stupid. Act to teach. Amen. Act to teach. You got to know how to teach. That's right. That's right. Act to and teach. for you to know how to teach, you got to be a Bible interpreter. Amen. Breaking down the language of God yeah. to make all men see. Men see. What is the fellowship of the mystery that was hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ? That's right. Able to, to teach. teach. Act to teach. You got to be able to teach. That's right. Not just get up and hold the people for three hours and all you did was gave a testimony. Amen. And, Amen. Just, and just quote songs. Yeah. They ain't teaching. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound 
to save a wretch like me. I once was lost and now I'm found. I was blind and now I see. You ain't preaching. That's not preaching. You just giving a solo. That's right. That's right. Ap Ap to teach. To teach. To teach. When the writing came on the walls in the book of Daniel, mm -hmm. he broke it down. Meaning, meaning to tell you false sin. Then he gave the, the definition, the interpretation of it. That's right. When you go into the language of scripture, you must break it down. Mm -hmm. Ap to teach. Ap to teach. Break it down. Make me see it. Make me comprehend yeah. what the apostle said, what the prophet said, what Jesus said. That's right. Apt to teach. Apt to teach. And seminary school don't make you apt to teach. No. All right. Not given to wine. What? Not given to wine. Then your bishop shouldn't be smelling like an entire barrel of alcohol. That's right. Not given to sweat wine. Sweat so much, but he sweat Budweiser. My Lord. Shouldn't find a bar in the bishop's house. That's right. That's right. Bishop shouldn't be in the AA like the Catholic priest. No. Huh? Not given to wine. Amen. Not given to wine. He got wine and spirits. Yeah. You're supposed to be filled with the spirit of God. That's right. Not drinking wine and spirits. That's right. You old drunken bishop. Amen. Viewers, your bishop. He got a drinking problem. Yeah. He's not a bishop. That's right. He got to get up the pulpit and sit down. That's right. Huh? Not given to wine. You mean to tell me you're going to have a bishop over you oh. who got an alcoholic problem? My Lord. The Holy Ghost said. Not given to wine. Not drinking. That's right. If it says not given to wine, that means you can't be a drinker. That's right. You old drunk. Drunk. Drank so much until it changed the texture of his skin. Amen. He, he don't even need uh, uh, lotion. The, the alcohol got his skin looking like uh, pig's fat. <laughs> it's shine. Shining. That's right. Greasy. You would think he done put bacon grease all over his face. That's right. Just shining. Shining. That's right. Drunken bishop. Amen. Many of you watching, many of you deacons watching, you drank with your bishop. Mm -hmm. Hey Amen. He got a bottle in his back pocket yeah. or got a bottle in his briefcase yeah. or got a bottle right in the glove compartment of his car. That's right. That's right. Hey Amen. Amen. Listen at this. Not given to wine. Not given to wine. No striker. Wait. Hmm. Bishop can't be violent. That's right. He can't strike with his hands and he can't strike back at the word of God with his mouth. That's right. When the word of God says something, it ain't no need to him to try to get a scripture to justify his wrong. No. He's going to take the Bible to fight back at the Bible. Uh -uh, no striker. No you got to give up, give in, and accept the submission hole of God and tap out. That's right. Eh? No striker. Glory to God. No striker. Not greedy or filthy lucre. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Well, you might as well empty practically every pulpit in the world. That's right. You can't love money. That's right. You can't love money. Not greedy. Greedy. A filthy lucre. No false prophet deserved to get nothing from a congregation. That's right. Nothing. That's right. But if you got a true man of God and the church wants to do something, then that man of God shouldn't put a price on your head and tell you, all right, you come along now. You want to do something for me? You bring $1,000 ahead. Mm. Greedy. You old greedy dog. Greedy. That's what I don't like about you, Pastor Jennings. You see, you was doing all right till you made that statement. <laughs> greedy dog. You ain't had to say that. Isaiah chapter 56 and that verse 11. Yea, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. Do you hear the Bible? Amen. Let's see who it's talking about. Isaiah chapter 56, we'll start at verse 10. Says what? His watchmen are blind. The preacher are blind. They are all ignorant. All dumb. They Don't are... know the Bible. They're all ignorant. That's right. They are all dumb dogs. They are dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Can't preach. Sleeping. Lazy. Lying down. Lying down. Loving, Loving the slumber. Yeah, they are greedy dogs. Greedy things. Which can never have they enough. They can never have enough. That's why they have so many prayer lines <laughs> with money. 
That's right. Greedy. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, hundred thousand dollar prayer line. That's true. The prosperity trash because they are greedy dogs. Greedy dogs which can never have enough. Yeah, I don't care what you do for them. They are never satisfied. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They are pastors that have no understanding of scripture. They all look to their own way. The only thing they look is for their own gain. Everyone for his Everyone gain. Everyone for his gain. From his quarter. From his quarter. Come ye say they. Look at this. I will fetch wine. Look at what? <laughs> Come ye say they. What the greedy dog say? Come ye say they, I will fetch wine. Hey, viewer, mm. have you and your bishop, have your bishop took you out on a date? That's right. And ordered a bottle of wine? That's right. Mm. Hey, you, deacon, and brothers in your church. Amen. Have you and the elders and the preachers and the deacons got together? Yeah. Order some wine? That's and right. bishop said, well, ain't nothing wrong with it. As long as you don't overindulge, we will drink in moderation. <laughs> That's right. What they say. Forget all about the Bible. One is a mark and strong mm -hmm. drink is raging. He that's deceived or tricked thereby. Uh -huh. God said you're not wise. That's right. What did he say? Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine. I will fetch wine. And we will fill ourselves with strong drink. Oh, we're going we gonna, to we gonna get into it. And tomorrow. And uh, the next day. Shall be as this day. We're going to keep it up. And much more abundant. You see that? Isaiah 56 and verse 12. Tomorrow. Amen. It's going to be like this day. And much more abundant. And more abundantly. Amen. All right, go back to the book of Timothy and follow me and get me now. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and at verse, eight, at verse 3. All right. Not given to wine. Not given to wine, bishop. No striker. Can't be a fighter. Not greedy or filthy lucre. Can't love money. But patient. Take your time. Amen. You're not in a hurry to get up in the pulpit. That's right. You're not bugging the apostle. Bugging he says, you going to let me preach? You going to let me preach? Oh, I take it, I take it, I take it over. <laughs> That's right. Anytime someone is anxious to get up here, I guarantee right. they're going to make a mess after they get up here. Amen. Amen. What you're so anxious to preach for? Learn first. That's it. Get something in you. That's right. Then you have something to tell the people. That's right. This ain't preaching. Glory to God. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. No. Let the church say amen. No. Hallelujah. 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 Praise him. Amen. Praise him. Praise him. No. Shut up. That's right. That's right. Just shut up. Amen. I have a say after teach. After teach. You teach and then give me something to say amen to. That's right. Get up there and make all that noise like you're your own cheerleader. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. What did he say? But patient. Patient. Not a brawler. Not a brawler. He, we know a brawler, he's quick tempered. Oh, yeah. He can't take chastisement, can't take rebuke. He get up and take the Bible to fight the Bible. That's right. That's right. You a bishop with the qualification with the scripture, mm -hmm. you be humble. Amen. Now, y'all want you to pay attention now. Pay attention to these bishop qualifications mm -hmm. because we about to go to the likewise and get the deacons. That's right. And it's going to show you it is not an ordinary office. That's right. It's an ex. Extraordinary office. Amen. Listen. Not given to wine, no striker, not greedy or filthy loot. Can't love money. But patient. Patient. Not a brawler. Not a brawler. Not covetous. He don't desire no one else's nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One that ruleth well his own house. He's not a henpeck. That's right. That's right. You rule your own house. You're not a henpeck. Amen. A henpeck man ain't fit to be ordained over nothing. No. You got to get your manhood in place first. That's right. That's Man, right. when you're a henpeck and when your wife got to complain about some sisters in the church, a henpeck will make that his text that Sunday. Yeah. Then he lie and say, God showed me. God ain't showed you nothing. Your <laughs> old wife is whining to you. That's right. You old henpeck. It's a henpeck. You're just britches. Amen. You're a waste. Yeah. Being recycled by the devil. That's right. Any man who got a wife and you're supposed to be leading people and your wife is complaining about people in the church and then you get up that Sunday or next Sunday and then you want to satisfy your wife by trying to act like the Lord that showed you something through discernment. <laughs> Amen. You old fraud. That's a fraud. You henpeck. That's right. You coward. Yeah. You weakling. Amen. You spineless, low life, hypocrite, good for nothing as a poor excuse of a bishop. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 He ain't really no preacher. He's a figurehead. Yeah. His wife run the church. That's right. 
His wife said, why don't you stop that in the church? He's stopping. Mm -hmm. His wife said, listen, I was thinking about this. You need to bring that to an end. Yeah. Thanks. We, uh, the law was dealing with me, and I was thinking about this. We're going to bring this to an end. No, he's his wife's puppet. That's right. That goes for any ministers in first church. That's right. I don't care if I did send you somewhere. Amen. If your wife is your boss, you're fired. Fired. Yes. You old henpeck heathen. That's right. That's right. Use a henpeck heathen. That's a henpeck. Amen. Amen. Use a henpeck heathen and a heathen henpeck. Amen. Amen. Gotta lock it down no matter what direction it is. Lock it down. All right, come on. One that ruleth well his own house. You rule well your own house. The children don't boss you. That's right. Hey Amen. Children ain't born to set the rules in your house. Yeah. If they want to set rules, they move out and get your own house. Amen. Just that simple. Amen. I don't like the rules here. Oop, there it is. <laughs> get the door and use it. That's right. Huh? That's right. I don't like the rules in here. Oop, there it is. <laughs> get that door. Amen. Just that simple. Amen. Oh, well, Dad, I feel as though you don't love me. Don't love you. Listen, if you don't like the rules here, then get your own roof. Make your own rules. Yeah. Otherwise than that, if mother or father set a curfew, you got to abide by it unless you got a job that got you working past that time. That's right. But you just out hanging out. Yeah. Well, I'm a man. Act like it and get your own roof. Amen. That's it. Otherwise than that, you might as well sit down and shut your mouth and come back to the Bible. That's right. That's right. I don't care if you got so much hair on your face until your hair look like an entire bush. Nobody can see your eyes, your ears. My Lord. The hair on your face. You need hair trimmers. <laughs> My Lord. Man, can you imagine? <laughs> the hair of your face is bigger than your body. My Lord. Until you look like Cousin It Cousin walking. It. <laughs> <laughs> Just walking. Hair and feet. I don't care. <laughs> you going to come back to Bible? That's right. Well, I'm a man. Then you go get a job and go to work and take care of yourself then. Yeah. You think a man is just because your anatomy is enlarged? Mm -hmm. You think you're a man because you lift weights? Amen. You think you're a man because of your facial hairs? Huh. I don't care if you went to bed with a clean face Tuesday and woke up Wednesday morning and your face was so full of hair, birds made a nest. Lord. You're going to come back to the Bible and follow orders. That's right. That's right. These are orders that God is setting in the church here. Yeah. That's right. All right. One that rules well his own house, having his children in subjection having with all gravity. Having his children under subjection with all gravity, gravity right. meaning all lowliness. That's right. That's Amen. Right. Got discipline. Set order. Mm -hmm. Amen. You ain't talking back to your mother, talking back to your father. You, you even watch the tone of your response. That's right. Doesn't matter if it, don't, if, if, if it seemed like to you nothing is wrong with your tone, but the moment your mother and father said, what's wrong with your voice? Yeah. That's true. Don't ask what do you mean when you know what they mean. Yeah. Just shift gears. That's right. Just That's shift right. gears and unchange that transmission power. <laughs> Amen. I don't care if you got to strip them gears. Yeah. Shift it. Shift it. Work that stick. <laughs> That's right. That's right. When I was raised, there was no such thing as back and forth. And my father and old mother did not tell me to do something two, three, four, and five times. No. No. Are you getting me? Amen. What did he say? One that rules well his own house. Know how to rule well his own house. Having his children in subjection with all gravity. With all humility. For if a man know not how to rule his own house. Then what? How shall he take care of the church of God? He's a henpeck, yeah. wife balsam. What can he tell the church? That's right. That's right. Can't rule his own children, then what can he tell the church? Amen. 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 Wow. See, you can tell whether you got henpecks symptoms and you're not married yeah just say if you're talking to a sister and a relationship didn't work out you didn't get married relationship didn't work out and she's leaving you she ain't crying <laughs> but you are amen <laughs> you just please, please, please. 
Please. Why? Amen. She want to go, let her go. Let her go. That's right. And she ain't your wife either? Amen. Yeah. Am I right, I said? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You may be hurt, but she ain't crying. She's not crying. She ain't crying. <laughs> you may be hurt, all right, fine. Okay. But she ain't crying. That's right. You somewhere snotting. <laughs> Snot hanging over your top lip. My Lord. Yeah. Symptoms of henpeckism. That's right. It's when that woman can get you to disrespect and disobey your father and your mother, and you ain't even married yet. Amen. And she's pulling strings. Yeah. To make you disrespect your mother and father, and you do what she said and not what they say, you ain't fit to marry, and you're not a man. That's right. If That's she's right. already pulling strings and you ain't married, yeah. she's your boss. Amen. And you ain't even married yet. Amen. You're an embarrassment to your own manhood. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. God made me, brother. God made me a man. Yeah. And not at no time did my wife, even before I got married, try to manipulate or pull strings that make me disrespect my parents. That's right. When my father said something, my wife respected it before we got married. Wonderful. Now imagine your husband or your father lay down law mm -hmm. and the woman you interested in, you tell her, well, that's what my father said. And then she gonna say, aren't you a man? Yeah. In other words, why are you concerned about what your father said? That's right. That girl ain't fit to marry a cow. That's right. Because she's telling you she don't respect your parents. Yeah. And if she don't respect your parents, she ain't no good to marry. That's true. That's true. That's right. Get me. For if a man know not how to rule his own house. That man that you interested in, sister, don't respect your parents. Yeah. He ain't fit That's to right. marry. That's right. I don't care if they got so much Holy Ghost until alphabets form on the instep of their foot and Paul name appear on their back. Until they are translated and end up on the Isle of Patmos. <laughs> My Lord. When you find your way back, find your way back. I'm interested in what's here. That's right. I can't stand henpeckism. <laughs> and right. I have no respect for no young man or no young woman yeah. who won't regard the rules of the house right. of the person they're interested in. That's right. That's right. If your mother and father tell you, you need to back off, you know, it's mm -mm. focus on the Holy Ghost. Leave her alone or leave him alone. Respect that. Amen. I don't care if those feelings are new to you. Respect it. That's right. That's right. And if you tell her, look, my, my, my father told me, you know, I need to back off of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Are you going to do that? And all she got to do is blink her eyes, and you're like, well, I, I just called you, he won't know it. You old worthless henpeck. Amen. You say henpeck, you a turkey, you a gobbler. Gobbler. That's right. Go ahead. And if she's already got you maneuvering in the background, disrespecting your parents, imagine if you marry her and you ain't home. Yeah. If she already practicing maneuvering, when you get married, she gonna maneuver. Yeah. Right in your absence. That's right. And the baby she got may not be yours. Mm. There's a thing called dress rehearsal. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't care if her hips so wide until she can't even fit on these pews. That's why. 
That's why. That's why. <laughs> Amen. 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 Mm. Hinpeckism. Hinpeck. It's poison yeah. it is. to your development as a man. That's true. Amen. Amen. That's another subject. That's, let's keep moving. One that ruleth well his own house. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to, it brings out something in my soul. <laughs> it brings out something in my soul because yeah. this young generation, yeah. my God, man, it's like, it's like something came off the assembly line with missing parts. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Missing parts. Yeah. Don't know where their head is. Don't know where their feet is. That's right. To the degree, stay away from her. Yeah. And then you lie. Oh, my job called me. I got to go to work tonight. Yeah. And all you're doing is sitting in the face of a disrespectful thing. Amen. She ain't fit to marry. No. He ain't fit to marry. Oh, no. Because your relationship was built on lies and deceit. Yep. That relationship is good for the garbage can. That's right. Hear the old troublemaker now when I burn your britches up. Amen. Shout next time. <laughs> I know this condemns some of you sitting here, but I don't care. Mm -hmm. Come on back next week. That's right. That's right. It condemns some of you watching. Yeah. Well, some of you watching, you henpecks mm -hmm. in your 20s and 30s and just as weak as a watered-down bowl of oatmeal. My Lord. You, it, 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 it don't even have no thickness for a spoon. <laughs> it's so watered down, all you need is a straw. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No consistency. No. Yeah. All right, listen to the old man. Amen. All right. One that ruleth well his own house. Rule your own house. Having his children in Having subjection, his children with, all under gravity. subjection with all gravity. Well, if a man know not how to rule his own house. This is plain. Amen. Some of you young brothers may want to be a minister in the future. Yeah. But the word speaks if you don't know how to rule yes, your own, own house. house. How shall he take care of the church of God? Now you think I'm going to ordain you or even put you over a pulpit? Yeah. Yeah. The whole church will fall apart. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. All right. Not a novice. Can't get a beginner. Less being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation. A novice of is the someone devil. that just got saved. Yeah. Just been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Just received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. One year's time, he, he's a bishop. He's an elder. Don't even know what it is. That's right. The Word of God says. Not a novice. It's admonishing us. Amen. Instructing us what not to do. That's right. See, a lot of you bishops didn't pay this no mind. That's why you ordained your son. Mm. Keep the church in the family. Yeah. Your son got about 13 babies out there. <laughs> Amen. Oh, he's lazy, don't want to work. work. Because, but yet you want to keep the name of the church and the name of Cunningham. Yeah. You want to keep Cunningham name on the sign. That's right. So you will pass the deeds of the wickedness of your son and ordain him to be Amen. anything under the sun. Amen. Mm -hmm. Not a novice. Can't get a beginner. That's being lifted up with pride. He fall into the condemnation of the devil. And you tell these young fellas, get these titles, get lifted up in pride. You can't even call them brother. True. Hey, brother James. I'm not brother James. That's right. Respect my ordination. I am district elder James. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> lifted up with pride. Before then, before he got the ordination, you talk to brother James. Hey, what's happening, brother James? Oh, man. How you doing, brother? Yeah. Regular voice. Now he get all day. Hey, praise the Lord, Brother Jane. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Uh, brother, I'm glad to see you today. And I was thinking about you last night. And uh, I felt, wait a minute. That's right. Or did God talk to me like you count Dracula put me on the spell? Before then? Hey, brother, how you doing, man? 
He got lifted up. Lifted up with pride. Talk like he ain't got good sense. That's right. Viewers, you know some people like this in your family, in your church. That's right. Glory to God. What did he say? Not a novice. Not a beginner. That's being lifted up with pride. He fall into the condemnation of the devil. Yeah. Moreover, he must have a good report. Uh, moreover, moreover, that means over and over and over. When you check up on him, he must have a good report. Must! Yes. Amen, must. That's must a must. A That's right. Have a good report among whom? Of them which are without. He got to have a good report even among the sinner. That's right. Them that are without, them that are outside of the faith. That's right. Must have a good report of them which are without. He can't be known as Williams the Gambler. Ooh. No way. No, no. You go to number, you go to Williams to place your bet. <laughs> huh? My Lord, my Lord. Amen. Running Williams numbers. the bookie. Yeah. <laughs> Running numbers, Pastor. Running numbers. Running numbers. Hmm. William the drug dealer. My Lord. Selling blue magic. <laughs> The word of God says. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without. You know, there's a lot of preachers, they live dual lives. They're pimps, they're drug dealers, they're drug lords. That's right. Extortionists. That's right. That's why you see them with all their bling bling on. Yeah. And shiny nails. Yeah. It looked like nothing but a regular neighborhood rat pimp. Yeah. A rat pimp. <laughs> Amen. Clothes all outdated, a rat pimp. That's right. 1972 maxi coat with dog hair. My Lord. Bootsy barn looking glasses. Teeth all grilled. Yeah. A rat pimp. He looks so <laughs> raggly and dirty and filthy. Yeah. Still got peace signs on his headlights of his car. My Lord. My Lord, my Lord. Rat pimp. Amen. Hear this. You know, you know they got a pimp convention? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they got a pimp convention. That's right. And do you know some of them pimps are called preachers? Mm. They call themselves Reverend this and Reverend that. My Lord. Yes, it's a disgrace. All right, come on, Williams. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without. All right. Lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Yes. Likewise. Now. Amen. He worked on the bishops. Yeah. Likewise, likewise, must the deacons be great. Now, viewers, I hope you was paying attention to the qualifications of the bishop. Yeah. And now the Apostle Paul is giving us instructions about the qualifications of the elder. And look, of the, deacon. Uh, of the deacon. He's giving us the qualifications of the deacon. He gave us first the qualifications of the bishop. Right. I want you to see how parallel they are. Likewise. And then ask yourself, mm -hmm. what in the world did these churches do with the office of a deacon? That's right. Listen. Likewise, must the deacons be grave. Oh, he got to be grave. Grave. Mm -hmm. Sound. Yeah. Firm. Sincere. That's right. And Not double-tongued. Can't talk out of both sides of his mouth. Mm -hmm. he, when he's double-tongued, he got the spirit of Satan in him. That's right. He's a truth and a lie teller. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not double tongue. Yes. Not given to much wine. Wait a minute. Now, mm -hmm. with the deacon. Amen. That's a difference there from the bishop. Mm -hmm. About the bishop, what did it say about the bishop and wine? Not given to wine. Not given to wine. To the wine. bishop can't have none. That's right. But the deacon. Not given to much wine. Now, hold it. Now, I have to go to the Bible and show you when can the deacon have wine. That's right. Because the word says not too much. That's right. And uh, I just can't leave it like that for the deacon to use his, judge, his judgment. No. Because I, I don't trust his judgment. No way. So I have to show all deacons yeah. where in the Bible they give you permission yes. to take not too much. That's right. Not given to much wine. Not given much wine. Much wine. All right, now let's show where the Bible allow the taking of the wine. First Timothy chapter 5 and at verse 23. You see, I, lo I love this program. Yeah. Even I love it. <laughs> Amen. I got because you see how it just, 
it just seals all the holes. That's right. So nobody can get around it. That's right. All right, Dick, this is the place where you can have wine. Listen at this. First Timothy chapter 5 and at verse 23. Yes. Drink no longer water. Wait a minute. Drink no longer water. But use a little wine. Use how much? A little wine. And what did Timothy say? Not given to much wine. Not given to much. So if you're not given to much, what are you supposed to have? But use a little wine. For what? For thy stomach's sake and thine often infirmity. No, just for freelance drinking. But use a little wine for thy stomach's sake and thine often infirmity. No, I want some um, wine with my grits and eggs and my steak. But use a little wine for thy stomach's sake and thine often no, infirmity. No, me and Bishop, we gone out uh, to a restaurant mm -hmm. and discussed church business. Bishop want to meet with the deacon board mm -hmm. and I want to order some uh, Beaujolais. But use a little wine for thy stomach sake. No, I want a nice bottle of Ripple. Use a little wine for thy stomach sake and thine often infirmities. Amen. Want that Ripple. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. No, get some Jack Daniels. Use a little wine for thy stomach's sake and no, thy often infirmities. No, a little wine for your dinner. Use a little wine for thy stomach's sake. A little wine to make a toast. For thy stomach's sake and thine often infirmities. Amen. Come on back to Bible, deacon. That's right. Come on back to Bible, deacon. That's right. And if you deacons watching me now, yeah. you got a can of beer in your hand looking. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. Pack that beer out your hand, hypocrite. <laughs> That's right. Take it out, I said. That's right. You was out last night. Last night. Drinking with your pastor. Mm. Drinking with your bishop. Amen. Drinking with your reverend. Yeah. You old sloppy mouth drunk. That's right. He's no bishop and you're no deacon. No. Some of you apostolic deacons watching me now, mm. you got wine in your house. Amen. And you're not taking it for your infirmities. That's right. That's Some right. of you watching me now, mm. your wife got the wine glasses at the table. Yeah. And she's telling you, come on, honey, Gino about to come on. <laughs> Gino about to come on. That's right. That's right. I'm on. Hey. That's right. You got that wine glass on your kitchen table? Yeah. Your dining room table? Amen. With your potatoes and stream beans? That's right. And your steak? Amen. You drinking wine? Mm. Come on. The Bible says. Drink no longer water, but you. Drink no longer. Water. Water. But use a little. Use. A little wine. For thy stomach's sake. For your stomach's sake. And thine often infirmity. Ain't nothing wrong with your stomach. You just <laughs> freelance drinking. That's right. You old potato green steak eater. Amen. And washing it down with your red Amen. wine. You Amen. heathen. That's right. You a heathen. Use a heathen. That's right. That's right. Well, where else can we drink wine, Pastor Jennings? Lord's Supper. Lord's Supper. Cup is in the Lord's hand and the wine is the red. And you take that and as oft as you do it, you show forth the Lord's suffering. That's right. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. All right, let's back, go back to Timothy now. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 3, still in verse still 8. Still working on the deacon. Likewise, must the deacons be grave, not double-tongued. Yes. Not given to much wine. Not given to much wine. You see how the office of the bishop, you can't have none. That's right. But the deacon can't have too much, so That's he right. only can have a little, and we just shows you where the Bible permit yes. that little. That little. For your stomach's sake and often infirmity. Yes. Little. Little wine. Little. Mm -hmm. You ain't got no business getting drunk. No. Off a little. <laughs> and a little is not a quart. That's right. I mean, you deacons got a whole brown paper bag in your car. Bag. Mm hmm. Amen. All right. Not given to much wine. Yes. Not greedy of filthy lucre. That's just like the office of the bishop. That's right. You can't love money, deacon. Mm hmm. You and your bishop should not be scheming and hiring people to pretend they need healing. <laughs> That's right. You bring them to church, and then you get the wheelchairs, and then they walk and get in the wheelchairs, yeah. and then your bishop pretend he healed them, and y'all cut up, y'all divide the difference. That's right. Amen. Greedy. 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 Mm-hmm. Not greedy or filthy loot. Can't love money. Mm-hmm. Amen. Come on, son. Holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. Wait a minute. Mm. For him to hold the mystery, he got to sit under teaching where the mystery is being given. That's right. That's right. 
Let me say it again. The Bible says what? Holding the mystery of the faith. How can you hold what you're not learning? That's right. That's true. How can you hold what well, you're not learning? You're not learning. Amen. And what kind of conscience he got to have when he hold it? In a pure conscience. Mm. Conscience pure. Amen. Mm. Yeah, man, when you see that woman in the congregation and see her stomach fat and she ain't your wife, you know that's not your baby. That's right. That's right. Pure conscience. Pure conscience. Pure conscience. That's right. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 If you and your wife separated mm. and you see her sister's interested in you, your conscience is pure, yeah. you'll tell her, I'm not married. That's right. Wonderful. I'm married, sister. That's right. You, 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 I, I can't marry you. I'm married. Yeah. I'm married. Pure conscience. What? Holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. Now the apostle got the mystery because the Bible said that it might be made known to the church the manifold wisdom of God. So the apostles teaching the deacon the mystery of godliness until the Bible said great is the mystery of godliness. Yeah. God was manifested in the flesh. So if he's holding the mystery, the mystery of the faith of the faith he got to be able to explain the Godhead. Mm. That's, right. That's right. That's right. Because the Bible says without controversy, great right. is the mystery of, of godliness. godliness. And if he's holding the mystery of the belief of God, then he should be able to explain the mystery of the faith. And the oh. Godhead is the foundation of the faith. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. That's right. You a deacon and you can't tell me how Jesus Christ is God? Mm. You a deacon and you don't know where the sonship started? That's right. That's right. You got to be able to explain it and wrap it up with Bible. That's right. That's right. Amen. Mystery of the faith. Holding the mystery of the faith. You got to hold it. Hold it. Hold it. That's right. I mean you're steadfast in it. Yeah. Now, I don't care what religion you be exposed to, it don't sway you. That's it right. don't manipulate you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It don't manipulate you. That's right. Why? You're holding oh. the mystery. That's Hold it. That's Stand fast. Wonderful. Go and take God, go and take God, no, no bargaining, no compromising. You're holding it. That's You're right. steadfast. That's right. Anchored, rooted, ground, settled. Wonderful. In other words, you're solid in the faith. That's right. Hallelujah. Solid in it. Mm. Mm. Holding the mystery of the faith. And what? In a pure conscience. Your conscience is pure until when a bishop preach a lie, you go talk to him about it. Yeah. Mm. Now what? Amen. Now what? Holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. And let these also first be proved. Amen. Read the whole statement, son. And let these also first be proved. Then let them use the office of a deacon, being found blameless. Hold it right there. Amen. Now, that statement is where the unofficial deacon was created. Mm -hmm. He's called acting deacon. Acting. Mm. Because the word of God says, and let these, let also, for, these also first be, first proved. be proved. Then that the, means let all these qualifications yeah. first be made manifest. That's right. That's right. Then, then let them use the office of a deacon. And when they use it, being found blameless. Hold it right there. Mm. Now, apostolic, mm -hmm. Pentecostal, because the act of deacons is in all these religions. Yeah. Is in apostolic. Is in the Pentecostal? Is in the Evangelical? Is in the Methodist? Is it is even in the Catholic Church? Amen. Now, if the Word of God, here, 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 hard head, rebellious thing, hmm. if the Word of God meant for men mm -hmm. to pretend, yeah. because when you acting, you're pretending. That's right. If the Scriptures meant for men to pretend. Yeah that they were deacons before they used the office, yeah. if that's what it means, then you should be able to find one man. That's right. That's right. One. That's right. 
in the scriptures that pretended <laughs> to be a deacon without ordination. Amen. Amen. Religion made that up. Right. There is nobody in the history of the Bible pretend mm -mm. to be a deacon nowhere. Nowhere. Only in the modern so-called Christian churches. That's right. Otherwise, in that, the apostles didn't have it. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. The Bible, well, someone said, well, how was it proved? His life will prove it. That's right. These things got to be manifest in the life of that brother. And let he got also... to live this. Right. That's right. Not pretend to be this. He got to live this. Amen. Amen. Live it. Live it. It come out of him. That's right. See it in his conduct. Yeah. Wonderful. Now. How is Bishop going to know he holds the mystery when these deacons today never teach? That's right. That's right. How can you know where that brother level of understanding of Scripture is mm -hmm. and he never teach? He got to hold the mystery, and he must be able to explain the mystery that he holds. That's right. That's right. Amen. I want to say what the Bible said, hold it. It didn't say teach it. Mm -hmm. Are you that foolish? It didn't think it mean just hold it. Just hold How's the bishop going to know he got it if he just hold it don't say nothing? That's right. Hey, Dick, you got the mystery? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. Bible said out of the abundance of the heart, what? The mouth, mouth speaks. Speak. So if the mystery is in them, it got to come out. That's right. It got to come out. Holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. In a pure conscience. And let these also let first these be proved. first be made manifest. And that will be proven in the lifestyle That's right. of that deacon. That's right. Not pretend he's one first. No. No, no. Because now you're creating another office. Mm -hmm. Because they are called acting deacons. That's right. You're creating another office. That's right. Now let's go back and see what bishops and elders and the, to the bishops and the deacons that was in the church. Read that again. Likewise, must the deacons. No, what you read, I believe, was Thessalonians or Philippians. Oh. At, Philippi. At Philippi. Pay attention to what I'm telling you. Amen. Let's go down there. Amen. Let's see what it says. In the book of Philippians, chapter 1. Philippians, chapter 1. And at verse 1. And verse 1. Paul and Timothy. Listen closely. Paul and Timothy. The, the servants of Jesus Christ. The servants of Jesus Christ. To all the saints in Christ Jesus to which all are at Philippi. The saints in Christ Jesus at Philippi. With the bishops. With the bishops and, and the acting deacons. With the bishops and deacons. Nope. With the bishops and the acting deacons. With the bishops and deacons. Nope. 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 Amen. With the bishops and the acting deacons. With the bishops and deacons. You better not tell me there's an office in that Bible called acting and deacons. I'll make you read it. That's right. That's right. It don't exist. With the bishops and deacons. No, the bishop and the junior deacons. With the bishops and deacons. The bishops and the deaconess, women deacons. With the bishops and deacons. Just like women deacons is not in there. In there. Just like junior deacons is not in there. Right. You don't have acting deacons. No. Men that are faking and pretending that they're deacons. That's right. Until they're supposed to get qualified. That's right. Bible ain't say that. No. When it's proven, it's manifest in your conduct because your life come under the heading of living holy. That's right. That's right. So if Bishop going around and say, I'm going to ask acting deacon Kevin to come up, <laughs> then I want Bible yeah. where any brother in the scriptures Amen. was called acting deacon because you're creating an office that's not in that's, here. That's right. Just like junior bishops. That's right. Junior elders. Acting deacons Amen. is not in there. Paul and Timotheus, the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus which are at Philippi, 
with the bishops with the bishops and deacons and the junior deacons with the bishops and deacons and, and no the bishops and the acting deacons with the bishops and deacons you hear this you can be stubborn and be a fool it. if you want to that's right this word breaks up everything that's it's right. breaking up years of tradition yeah oh yeah. thus have you made a commandment of god a none effect by your tradition, by your tradition. Ye hypocrite. That's right. Well did Isaiah spoke out of you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back. Back in 1 Timothy 3 and verse 10. Listen. And let these also first be proved. Then let them use the office of a deacon being found blameless. Yes. Even so must their wives. Oh, mm. now it's stepping in his house. That's right. That's right. If you marry. Even so must their wives Your be wife, grave. she got to be grave. Grave. Not no gossip of busybody and everybody business in the church. That's right. Running off at her mouth. Mm -hmm. Flirting with every brother in the church. Amen. Are you getting me? Even so must their wives be grave. Your wife got to be grave. Got to mm. be sincere. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not slanderous. Your wife cannot go around slandering folk. Not trying to go around repeating gossiping yeah. and wasting time on the phone and all over the internet, email, participating in slander and That's gossip right. and backbiting. Even so must their wives what, what, be grave. What, what is the apostle teaching us? Even the deacon got to rule his house. That's right. That's what he's teaching. That's right. He got to have his wife in order. In order. His wife in check. Amen. And she under your roof. Yeah. Mm. What about she ain't under my roof, Pastor Jim? We separated. All right, then she's not responsible. She on her own. That's right. But you under that roof. Yeah. Even so, must their wives be grave, not slanderous. Not slanderous. Sober. You can't have no drunken wife. <laughs> That's right. Not only that, she got to be sober-minded. Mm -hmm. She's not looking at a brother and stripping him buck naked. Mm. The deacon's wife. Sober. She got to be sober-minded, sober. stable-minded, one-track mind. That's right. Amen. 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 Get me. Faithful in all things. What? Faithful in all things. She's committed to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's say, be God. She's committed to God. That's right. And she's committed to her husband. That's right. Faithful. Faithful in all things. In everything. She'll do the work of God if nobody won't. That's right. And, she, and the Bible ain't says she's a deaconess. No. You old liar. <laughs> Amen. No. Do you hear this? Even so, must their wives be great. This is beautiful. Yes, it is. At 99.9 .9 of churches, the office of a deacon is not taught. Amen. It's not taught. You got all these fellas walking around, claim they're deacons, and all they do is, is collect offering. That's right. That's and right. dust the podium. Amen. And give the bishop his water when he's done lying. <laughs> and put a cape on him like he's Jane Brown and just got finished singing. That's right. Carry his briefcase. That's right. He don't have the whole Bible is a mystery to him. <laughs> he don't hold a mystery. He don't understand none of the mystery. Right. Never teach. Nothing. That's have right. no anointing. Mm. Some of them don't even have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Listen. Even so must their wives be great. Your wife must be great. Not slander. Not slander. Sober. Sober. Faithful in all things. Faithful in everything. Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife. Hey, deacon. Oh, it got him too. Amen. If you and your wife separated, you can't get another until your wife dies. If I got any deacons watching me now, and I know I do. <laughs> and your first wife is living. You know your first wife is living. Her name is Kathy. <laughs> Amen. And now you got Karen. Karen. That's right. And now you see the Lord is dealing with you. Want to get Cynthia? Mm. My Lord. You's a busy deacon. That's right. One of them That's busy right. bee deacons. <laughs> Listen. Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife. How many? One wife. How many he's allowed to be married to? One wife. How many the Baptists got to have? One wife. Apostolic. One wife. Pentecostal. One wife. Evangelical. One wife. Non-denominational. One wife. Let got, the, hey, 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 Bishop. Hey, hey, Deke. Hey, Deke. Deke. Hey, Deke. Listen up. Amen. Your first wife still living? Mm -hmm. You got another one? You do? You're not a deacon. Get out. Sit down. That's right. You're not fit. That's right. You're not fit at all. At all. You're not qualified. You're not fit to be ordained a deacon. Amen. And if you've already been ordained, you ain't fit to hold the office. That's right. Listen. Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife. What? Ruling their children and their own houses well. Do you see how I parallel with the bishop? Yeah. Notice the only difference so far is the wine. That's right. That's it. That's it. 
The only difference right. so far is with the wine. Amen. Bishop can't have none. none. Deacon have a little. That's right. All right. Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife. One wife. Ruling their children We've and got their own to rule your house well. well. For they that have used the office of a deacon well. They that have used the office of a deacon well. You didn't say pretend to be it. No. No. You got to use this use thing no. well. That's right. Have what? But they that have used the office of a deacon well purchased to purchase themselves, to of, themselves, good themselves of good degree. And great boldness in the faith which is in Christ. Now, how am I going to know hmm. how bold he is in the gospel of Jesus Christ yeah. when he never had the opportunity to express and teach that boldness. That's right. That's right. Uh, all you do is walk around, collect, offering, clean church, and been doing it for 30 years. Yeah. God ordained a young deacon at 20. Mm. And now you're 85. Mm. Hey, D. <laughs> My Lord. Dig what the scripture said. I don't know you. You better ask Bishop. I don't worry about the Bible. I, my, my job is to raise offerings. I, I leave the Bible to Bishop. That's right. My job is to raise offering and be chairman of the deacon. But what you say? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Come on back to Bible! That's right. You churches don't have it right. You don't have it right. Have it right. You too, you're so busy following the tradition of men, you're just doing what other churches are doing, and you're doing what other bishops are doing, and nobody is stopping to ask questions. Is this scriptural? That, that's right. Come on back to Bible. Amen. What did he say? For they that have used the office of a deacon well purchased to themselves a good degree. You got a good degree. And great boldness great in the faith. boldness in the faith. Which is in Christ Jesus. Which is in Christ Jesus. These things write I unto thee. These things he's writing to you. Hoping to come unto thee shortly. What? But if I tarry long. If I wait. That thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the church of God. Yes. Which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. Yes. And without controversy, great is the mystery of God. Wait a minute. Mm. And what the deacon got to hold? Holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. And what did the apostle went on to say? And without controversy, great is the mystery of God. How in the world are you going to know whether the bishop or rather the deacon understand this great mystery yeah. if it never come out of them? Never come out. That's right. Never come out of them. That's right. How do you know he's bold? Yeah. Because he fight with people in the church? Amen. Amen. How do you know he's bold? Because he cuts you out once in a while? <laughs> Lord. How do you know he's bold? bold? Because he get mad at you when you lean up against his Cadillac? <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Boldness in what? And great boldness in the faith which is in Christ Jesus. He got to be bold in the, in the beliefs which is in that Christ the apostles Jesus. received from Christ. That's right. That's right. Boldness is something that you must express. Yeah. And the faith of Jesus Christ is an expressed faith. That's it right. must be spoken. That's right. It must be said. That's right. Hmm. Wonderful. How do you know the apostles were bold? Wonderful. Because they stood firm and helped to the doctrine that Jesus gave them. That's right. Great boldness in Great the faith. Boldness. Great boldness in the faith which is in Christ Jesus. These here, these deacons ain't teaching nothing. Mm. Money collector, briefcase carriers, briefcase. pews dusters, That's right. envelope tied counters, yeah. water boys for preachers. Yeah. Broom users and mop users. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong with you doing all that. Yeah. But it's time right. that the church yeah. know who among you yeah. hold the mystery. mystery. That's right. That's right.
It must be proven, and it can't be proven unless it's made manifest. Yeah. Not you pretend. It ain't no Bible for an office that says that. Listen, the Bible is clear about the office in the church. That's right. Isn't it? Likewise. I said the Bible is clear yeah. about what office is, is in the church. That's right. The Bible said God hath set some yes. in the church. Ephesians 4, 11. In Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11. Quickly. And he gave some apostles. And some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors, and teachers, what else? for the perfecting of the saints, and what? for the work of the ministry, what else? for the edifying of the body of Christ. First Corinthians twelve twenty-eight. First Corinthians chapter twelve, and we're at verse twenty-eight. Says what? And God had set some in the church. God put this in the church. First apostles, apostles. secondarily prophets. prophets, thirdly teachers. What else? After that, miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues are all acting apostles. deacons. And God had set some in the church for its apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers. After that, miracles and gifts of healings, helps governments, diversities of tongues. Acting deacons. And God had set some in the church for its apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers. All right. Amen. You take that office of acting deacon, throw it back out in the street. That's right. Give it back to the Catholic church where it came from. That's right. They ain't come from the Bible. You better not tell me it did. I'll make you find it. Amen. I make you find the bishop, yeah. homemade apostle, yep. tobacco collecting elder, yes. cocaine snorking bishop. That's right. Pipe puffing deacon. Amen. Come back to Bible. Amen. Not one. No. There's not a man in here that held the office called acting deacon. No. So if your bishop got it in his church, tell him show you that office that God put in the church. Because the Bible speaks plain what God put in the church. And God had set some in the church. First apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers. After that, miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Did you hear this? Amen. God Go back to Philippians 1 and 1 quickly so I can knock off. Back in Philippians chapter 1, chapter 1 and at verse 1. Listen. Paul and Timothy, is the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi, yes. with the bishops and deacons. Junior elders not in there, we don't have them. No. Acting deacons not in there, we don't have them. That's right. Junior apostles not in there, we don't have that trash. No. Deaconess, what a mess. Amen. Who's not in there, we don't have them. That's right. First lady ain't in there, we don't have them. That's right. We're going to stick That's right. to the doctrine of the apostle and the order of Scripture. That's right. Acting deacons originated from the Catholic Church. Yeah. You can evaluate every so-called Christian denomination. That's right. They have them, all of them. All of them. That's true. Europe have infiltrated the apostolic churches. Yeah. And now you fellas act in deacons. Mm. Who said that in the church? You better not tell me God. I make you read it. Amen. Well, that's what it means. If that's what it means, then you shouldn't have no problem finding someone faking to be a deacon before they ordain. That's right. They show me one brother in the Bible pretend to be a deacon. That's right. Before they ordain. And let these also first be proved. Then let them use the office of a deacon. Even in the sixth chapter of the book of Acts, when the evangelist was ordained, right. it says, look ye out among you. Seven men. Seven men. Honest report. Honest what? Honest report. They already got a good report among the people. That's right. How do they have that report? Body lifestyle. That's right. That's why they were selective who the ones they chose. Right. They already had that report by their lifestyle. Wherefore, brethren, looking out among you, nobody was men. pretending to be evangelists. No. It was they. Wherefore, wherefore, brethren, looking out among you, seven men of these were men. Yeah. Seven men. Seven men. Uh, and this is what we're calling for. Seven men of honest report, honest report. full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we, whom we may appoint over this business. These men wasn't pretending to be evangelists. No. They already was known by their lifestyle. 
That's right. That's right. Nobody in the scriptures pretended to be apostles and bishops or elders and no. deacons and evangelists and de and all that That's right. before they were ordained. That's right. And let these also first be proved. Let, this, let, let all of these ingredients first be proved. Be made manifest. Then let them use the office of a deacon being found blameless. Amen. Amen. You, Amen. you see how plain this is? Yeah. So you out there that say you're acting deacons, just write me and tell me who in the Bible is one. <laughs> then I believe you. That's right. Well, my bishop, I don't care if your bishop arm came from a turtle's shell. And he ordained you, his arm came from the shell of the turtle while the turtle was still walking. Mm. I don't believe nothing. That's right. The Bible says this, whatsoever things are written before time, are written for our learning. Learn. The Bible says search the scriptures. So I'm searching for this searching fella for who's a deacon without ordination. That's right. Searching for it. Search. Search the scriptures. The scriptures for in them. You think you have eternal life. I want to see a man acting like a deacon without ordination. <laughs> Amen. And he got the title acting deacon like your bishop gave you. Yeah. I'm not asking too much. No. I'm asking for Bible. That's right. I'm encouraging every viewer under the sun. Stop taking these bishops' opinion. That's right. That's why God is causing me to make a plea while I stand in the wilderness of America. Come back to Bible. That's right. Come back! That's right. Europe and the beliefs of Europe yeah. have came in church have polluted the sanctuary, the sanctuary and have brought in doctrine of devils. That's right. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. That's right. We're going to come back to the Bible. And this was done, like Brother Dan said, this was done for hundreds, hundreds of years. Yeah. Hundreds. Oh, yeah. Acting Deacon Simmons, acting Deacon Brown. Acting Deacon McGillicuddy. Amen. Acting Deacon Cunningham. Yeah. Acting Deacon Williams. Acting Deacon Jonathan. Mm. Acting Deacon Young. Mm. Acting Deacon Willa Willa. <laughs> Everybody's acting. That's right. Where you get your script from. That's right. Who's your producer? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Acting Deacon John. Can you imagine that? My Lord. Brother John coming to me, Pastor Janice. I'm an acting deacon. Who made you? Nobody. I'm just going to act like I'm a deacon. I'm act like <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, viewers, you don't like this. You don't like this. I know you don't. And you say, you always starting something new. No, the acting deacon was here for hundreds of years. That's right. Hundreds. That's right. All I want is where's this office, where's this office? that been drummed up, yeah. that been conjured up in the Bible. Amen. Your bishop said, oh, when it says let these things first be, proved, be proved, then let that mean he acted first. Tell your bishop if that's what it means, show him one person. I'm making it easy for you. Yeah. You ain't got to give me five. <laughs> one. one. One brother. That's right. In the scriptures. That's right. One soul, brother. Whose souls lined up with that Bible. That's right. And let these also who pretended proved. to be a deacon mm -hmm. without being ordained. Amen. Then I will respect your office and we'll have it. Right. That's right. Hmm? Maybe I'll be one, Pastor. Maybe you will be an acting deacon. Are yeah. <laughs> uh, you an acting reader or are you a reader? No, I'm a reader, Pastor. Amen. Acting announcer. Amen. Man ain't acting announcer, he's an announcer. Yeah. Acting drummer. Amen. Pretending. He ain't hitting nothing, just. What you doing? I'm playing the drum. No sound. That's right. Acting. That's right. Hey, viewers, are you a fool? Mm. Are you ignorant? What's your level of intelligence? Level. Acting? Amen. Uh, acting deacon. Now, you can get mad at me as you want. 
when the smoke clear, mm. and when the telecast go off, <laughs> this is what I want you to do. Put, flip the pages. That's right. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. And find one man. Yeah. One man. That's right. Who was an acting deacon. Yeah. Like you are. Like your husband is. Mm. You know, your husband. Like your husband been for the past 20, 30, 40 years. My Lord. And some of you that say you're deacons and you never taught nothing. How did your office of a deacon get so cheap, yeah. so weak, when your qualifications is almost identical yeah. to a bishop? bishop? Likewise, must the deacon And if it's paid. practically identical to a bishop, how did it get bumped down to a pew cleaner? That's right. You get ordained to show for the bishop. That's right. How good is you ordaining me a deacon and all I'm... Dawn is conducting praise service for yeah. 10, 20, 15 years. Yeah. Your bishop don't know what he's doing, no. and you don't even know what you have. That's right. All right, Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You heard it tonight. Oh, yeah. You may not like it, but you heard it anyway. That's right. Most of you, this is the first time you even heard the office of the deacon door. That's right. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. And what? And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, anybody here want to get right, including any doctor and deacons? Amen. You want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet tonight. If not, I got any acting deacons here that want it? Come on, raise your hand and shame the devil. Amen. God bless your heart forever. Viewers, I'm not mean. God have made me an old school oh. holiness preacher. That's right. That's what I am. I am an old school holiness Bible thumper preacher. That's right. I believe in what's written. Yes, you do. Ain't no need to waste your time arguing with me and all that stuff. All I believe is what's written. That's it. I don't want nothing made up. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Yeah. Otherwise than that, you stop going to church and pack your bags and get ready to go to hell. Amen. All right, remember, we'll be broadcasting to Africa this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, live, early in the morning. So uh, you that want to be here, you're more than welcome. You come on now. You come on. And we'll be ready to give Africa what she needs. All right, let us all stand. Brother Minister Dan Thompson again. Amen. We'll close us out in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you again, Lord God Almighty, for your loving kindnesses and your tender mercy, O God, that you've shown towards us. We ask you, O God, to continue to bless thy word as it goes out over the airways, that the listeners and the hearers, O God, will give heed, O God, to this thy eternal word before it's everlastingly too late. Lord God, we know that the dead do not praise thee, neither them that go down in silence. But we will bless the name of the Lord from this time forth and forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. amen. amen.